My name is Tammy Estabrooks, and my work is to do with um, tissue culture, plant tissue culture. I work specifically with roses, and we're growing um, the plants in culture and carrying out a pathway that's called somatic embryogenesis. My name is Nicole Carlson. I work at DRDC Atlantic. What we do specifically is uh, use math and physics to um, deal with the sound in the ocean. My name is Ivan Hemian. I'm an organic chemist, uh, but right now I'm focused in ionic liquids research. Uh, ionic liquids are a new class of solvent that people have been using for the last 15 years or so. These new ionic liquids are uh, a lot more environmentally benign than solvents that chemists use on a regular basis today. Nature has a, a sense of chaos. We make huge bounding assumptions in a lot of our science and we um, simplify things to a, to a point at which you wouldn't believe that it would work anymore. Growing up out in the country, out in Fall River, uh, there was all kinds of things to look at all the time, all kinds of natural beauty, spiders running around, see the river, wonder how it all works. I don't know which comes first, whether we just try to figure out nature and write it down as a math equation or whether it's the other way around and there is actually that math underneath it. Finding out um, negative results I think are very important too. You can learn a lot from what doesn't happen or, or what's different from what you expected than, than what you predict. I guess really that's what science is about is trying to predict what's going to happen next in the world and uh, trying to figure out what controls the world around us and how we might be able to control it. Woo! These are my babies. They are roses, which I'm growing in culture. Starting with a good question gives you some place to actually start and to, to grow from. What you're asking is how questions come from questions. And I think what I would say to that is that they just come. You, you have a question, and that leads to another one, and it leads to another one, and it's just a natural process. Good questions come from, I think, thinking about things on, on a fairly regular basis. I mean, you don't always have to be thinking about science when you're going to bed at night thinking, oh, I love science so much. When the answers fall apart, it makes you go in a different direction, which is good because it's not one that you might have thought of to begin with. So you actually grow when your answers fall apart. A lot of the time, you're working on the cutting edge. So students are going beyond areas that, that people haven't necessarily had answers for before. You don't have to be a genius IQ to make big discoveries and move forward in the world of science. You can be Joe Blow average and know a few things about science and see something and make it something that no one's thought before. And there you go, you're on your way.